Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today, in light of the all-new Taiji jailbreak for iOS 8.1.2, I'm here to share with you guys an all-new list of top Cydia tweaks that I've curated for jailbroken devices running iOS 8.0 through up to 8.1.2. So before I begin, I wanted to say two things. First, you need to be jailbroken to install any of the tweaks that I'm going to outline. So if you have yet to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and you're on the main page for this video, just be sure to click my channel name down below to be taken to my channel. And from there, you can find jailbreak tutorials for every iOS 8 firmware, even up to 8.1.2, the latest public firmware. And with that said, if you happen to see anything installed on my iPhone 6 Plus that I don't explicitly outline in today's video, then just be sure to check out my top Cydia tweaks playlist, as it does contain 41 additional iOS 8 compatible tweaks. And again, everything I have installed on my iPhone 6 Plus can be found there. So to start off, let's go over the first tweak. It's called Die. It's new on Cydia. It's available for free, and it adds a bit of color to any jailbroken device. So as you may have noticed by now, I have a green accent color on all of the areas that would normally have the blur option applied to them. So as you can see, when I pull down on Spotlight here, I do have blur up at the top of Spotlight Search, as well as even inside of the App Store. As you can see, it's applied there as well as to the bottom. So let's go ahead and open up Settings, which you actually get a new Settings pane for dye when you install it, and you get a few basic things. You can enable it, you can change the color, and let me tell you that there are so many different options here. As you can see, you can pick your color, and then you can also pick the alpha or opacity of said color to make it either more or less obvious. Now let's go ahead and go back and go into advanced because this is actually kind of a two-in-one tweak. For those of you who really like the darker keyboard that is applied inside of the spotlight portion of iOS, you will absolutely love this tweak because even if you don't like dye and you don't like the color effects that it adds, then you can enable it and just have darkened keyboard toggled while leaving the color normal. Normal. All right, many of you have also probably spotted this next one. It's called Classic Dock. As you can see, I no longer have the iOS 7 or 8 inspired dock. I now have the one that was initially intended for iOS 6, but it does have a twist. So let's go ahead and launch up the settings app here. And inside of the Classic Dock pane in the settings app, you have a few different options. You can enable it and you can pick the mode, whether you want the classic style, which is just the regular iOS 6 dock, or whether you want it with a modern twist. Again, it does add sort of the iOS 6.x shape, but it does add that blur that was introduced in iOS 7 when Apple added the flat iOS design. You can also have it darken the background, reflect the icons, and you can even make the icons bounce at launch, which you likely saw when I launched the App Store toward the beginning of this video. Now, DIM is the next tweak. It's for jailbreakers who, like myself, wish that iOS could go just slightly darker. So let's go ahead and launch up settings here again and go inside of the DIM portion. When you have it enabled, you can darken the screen even beyond what iOS allows you to. So let's go ahead and darken it to as low as we can go. You can see you can just barely tell that the screen is turned on, the backlight is completely disabled at this point, but we can go even darker with it enabled. So as you can see, you can't really tell that it's on at all right now. It's going to be kind of hard to get it back here. I'm going to actually take the iPhone off camera here and put it under a light. So I'll be right back. All right, and that's dim. It doesn't actually turn down the backlight beyond the physical capabilities of it. However, it does add numerous layers of varying transparency to your device's screen to artificially darken it. So let's go ahead and just show you guys one last time how it works. So there you go. It's at a higher brightness level here inside of Control Center, as you can tell. So let's go ahead and exit out of dim and move on to the next tweak, which is called Power Informer. So we do have a portion here inside of the settings app and with it toggled on it basically allows you to disable the traditional 20 percent system power alert and add new ones so you can set when the alerts start and you can set what increment they actually go by as well as adding custom strings now no audio recorder is infinitely more simple than even the last tweak it just disables the audio recording capability inside of the messages app i actually find it incredibly annoying personally because i'm always accidentally toggling it so if you're like me and you don't like the audio recording portion of the messages app maybe you never use it or maybe you also accidentally activate it from time to time then this is the tweak for you it doesn't add 
any options or settings. It just disables it from inside of messages. And then from there to re-enable it, simply uninstall it through Cydia. All right, next up, Virtual Home 8 is the successor, one of my favorite iOS 7 tweaks. But before we get into it, I just wanted to say that these next three tweaks are premium, meaning they are available inside of Cydia for a fee. You do have to pay for them just like premium or paid app store apps. The developers of these tweaks feel like they should be paid for their work and rightly so. I mean, some of them are absolutely amazing and I couldn't see myself living without them on a non-jailbroken device or even a jailbroken device, again, without them installed. And with that said, Virtual Home 8 essentially emulates home button actions without actually physically pressing the home button itself. So what I mean by that is because I have an iPhone 6 Plus here, with Apple's Touch ID sensor, I can simply rest my finger on the home button without actually pressing it and it goes to the home screen. I can also double press it or actually, excuse me, press and then hold it and then it'll lock the device. So as you can see now, the device is locked and if I wanna unlock it, I just have to rest my finger on it, it wakes the screen up and then it unlocks it with a finger that's enrolled through Touch ID. So that's Virtual Home 8. There are a couple of other settings that you can adjust via the settings app, but that's basically it. All right, and the next tweak is a premium alternative to the previous one, Virtual Home 8. It's dubbed Smart Tap, and it's for those jailbreakers who are either looking for something slightly cooler or who don't have a Touch ID sensor on their device, meaning they don't have an iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, iPad Air 2, or an iPad Mini 3. And basically it allows you to double tap on the screen itself to either lock it or to unlock it. So let's go ahead and activate it here. It's kind of tricky. You have to do it just right. As you can see, a double tap there did indeed wake the screen up. So let's go ahead and do that again. Of course, the power lock button is over here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and just double tap on the screen, I'm not touching the home button either. So let's go ahead and do that again. As you can see, it doesn't indeed wake the device up without actually pressing any button. And it does so using some pretty advanced and proprietary techniques. It can even distinguish between an accidental tap and an intentional one. All right, and finally in this list, we have Watchboard, which is a premium tweak that kind of adds an Apple Watch-esque interface to iOS. Now it's very similar to Eternum, which was a tweak that I previously detailed in a dedicated video, which I will have linked to on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. But anyway, let's actually get into Watchboard. You can toggle it from inside of the Settings app, so Settings, Watchboard, and then you can toggle it. And when I exit out here, you will notice that my apps are in an Apple Watch-esque interface. So it definitely looks different. I can zoom in and out if I want to, and the animations are absolutely incredible on this. I'm not going to spend too much time going over it, but I definitely recommend it. I actually prefer Watchboard over Eternum for the sole reason that the animations are just so incredible. So let's go ahead and launch up an app here. As you can see, it was pretty smooth and it even works with Springtimize 3, which I use to speed up the animations of iOS. So let's go ahead and close out now and open up Twitter. And while that's pretty much all I wanted to go over on the Watchboard tweak, I just wanted to show you guys how simple it is to actually move icons. It's much easier than it was on Eternum. All you have to do is just tap and hold, and then you get a really awesome animation that kind of brings it closer to your finger, or at least it gives you the illusion that it does, and then you can drop it wherever you want, and it resizes itself accordingly. Of course, the middle of the screen, the icons will be bigger depending on the zoom factor that you're working with, and as you move along, the icons will, of course, enlarge as they move toward the center. So this is an absolutely great tweak if you're like me and you can't wait to get your hands on an Apple Watch in early 2015, then definitely check out Watchboard. All right, now that's it for this video, guys. I know the last three tweaks were premium and were paid. And if you guys want even more free tweaks, then just be sure to check out my complete iOS 8 jailbreak tweak playlist, which I will have linked to on the screen now via annotation form, which does contain an additional 41 tweaks that are compatible with the iOS 8 jailbreak. Whether it's Pangu or Taiji, they will work for you regardless of your iOS 8 firmware. And if you guys like this video, and if you found the tweaks in it useful and helpful, 
just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite iOS 8 tweak is. And if you guys are interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, then just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. From there, after tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your device as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. And then from there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, and that wraps up this video. To be notified when I release additional top tweak lists, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.